Hello there, I'm Elton, Alini is right there behind the camera and this is Ostrenda Rosa. This is our farm and right here we have an orchard. Uh, we have some fruits over there. But we are here today because of a new thing we're going to start. Uh, which is this tree right here. Uh, some of you may recognize it already. This is bay leaf. It's a bay leaf tree. Mm, great smell. Uh, and there we are. This bay leaf tree is going to be the mother of our bay leaf farm. And to do that, we're gonna do uh, air layering, uh, which is a technique. Basically, I'm going to trick the plant into thinking that this, this, this branch here is connected to the ground and it should have uh, roots there. So the way we do that is very simple. We just come over here and re remove a part of the bark and we scrape it and this way we have uh, a place here where the plant can't uh, flow the, the nutrients in the bark. So the nutrients are going to come up from the, the wood here. We're gonna have photosynthesis here and then the nutrients are going to come down here through the bark but they won't be able to continue down the plant. So what, the, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add some soil here and then the plant is going to think oh I, I should uh, grow some root in this soil as I have all of these nutrients and that's what we're gonna wait for it to do and this is it uh, I'm come with uh, a plastic bag with some soil in it I wrap it around the 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 barkless part of the plant that I did of that little uh, place there and I have here uh, some soil you can use a lot of different kinds of soil uh, you can buy it or anything like that what I do is just that I get it from around here uh, here we go this is the soil we're using today with a lot of water um, and that's it so after you've done this you just have to wait like three months around that and then you can come cut it right here and plant it wherever you'd like. This is one of the one of the many passive ways that we're that we're going to have some uh, profit from the land here. Uh, I'm saying passive because after I plant it, uh, I kind of don't have to do a lot to it. Maybe come and work with this fungus here. Uh, with some copper sulfate and kill this this fungus that is happening on the plant and other than that is just harvest and sale so what I'm what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna make a lot of uh, layering air layering here and I'm going to take this and plant it all over the property when they are ready to harvest when they they're going to launch a lot of branches just like here you can see one two three four five six seven branches in this one branch here and i'm gonna harvest these and then the plant is going to regrow some more branches next year and i harvest again and the cycle goes on and on and on um, this is a very basic production that we don't have to worry much about just harvest and sell um, so let's review the technique it's very simple you come with a pocket knife or something you scrape away the bark around here uh, you kind of do a ring around it after you've done that you scrape all the bark off of it so if you leave a little bit of bark it's not going to work because it's going to regenerate the bark instead of creating root so scrape everything then you come with the dirt you put it out you put it around the the ring and that's it and then you wait for three months if you have a very dry period you should uh, come with a syringe or something you open a little place in it in the bag and inject some water there and that's it, uh, it only if you have a very dry month there
other than that just wait and that's it this is the start of our bay leaf farm we hope to export it maybe not maybe just sell it locally uh, we never know what what we're going to be able to do with it our hopes is that we can sell everything we produce that's always the goal and this is the start this is uh, the first step we're taking to it all right and um, thank you very much for for watching our videos and commenting and liking it uh, if you're subscribed thank you very much for that and that's it thank you very much bye bye